concept of this show is we have heroes and villains coming together to try to save the future. Uh, the world at large uh, is brought together by Rick Hunter. He's got a rogue gallery, as we call it, I guess. Uh, and people trying to work together to uh, overcome their differences and uh, mostly do good. <laughs> we, we, may, we may mess up along the way every once in a while, and then we have to go back and figure out how to write our own to make a choice to do Um, yeah, I mean, I mean, I think the basis of what makes class narrow when it's a relationship is that who's the who's the heir, who's the narrow, who's the black, and what are the relationships that make the story work through interacting with the characters and creating strong emotional bonds that the audience can relate to. So that when you're in peril, it feels real. You're connected because you really care about these people. That's the whole thing that we're doing here. We have, uh, we have eight people uh, that we're doing this with, and they're all very different. So uh, that's very unique for us. Plus, I think the, the stakes are even higher. So it's just bigger. So it's a base of the battery. We're definitely a team. I mean, you know, we're 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 a team. I mean, at this point, it's mostly mostly uh, titled uh, as we're fighting amongst each other, kind of, uh, not trusting everyone. Both villains not trusting the heroes, and not trusting the villains. So, you know, a lot of pushing forward to make for an exciting environment, even if we're still trying to uh, you know, put out fires. Uh, it's helped in amazing ways. Uh, I don't even know if it's so much as on screen as, um, as just. Brandon working through and, and dealing with uh, the, the, the trial tribulations of building something like this, uh, the stress and the, the time constraints, the physical constraints of being in a studio, all these things, to mentally have to prepare for this. And while I was an amazing experience for me, that was a lot at a very early age. So I was able to sit and relax. How does it amazing? It was like one day I feel like I'm going to do this day, but I can stay so much, so much that I have to work so much. And it's it's the best. And I know I don't have to worry about this. I know I can help you with yourself. But you know what? I need a little more time. I need to do whatever. You just need to learn those skills as an actor that don't have to do with the acting. That pay off the dividends for the acting. So I can be more relaxed. I said, don't be now. Now I'm trying to get I'll spend a very good my job. No. I mean, I'm a superhero too. Especially on the DC universe. I thought maybe I'd go with uh, sometime, but to a play that's the pinnacle of all superheroes in my mind, uh, I've never conceived of the of another opportunity. So, when uh, Mark and, and, uh, and Andrew and Greg and all of them are going to be with me, I'm like, oh, do you need that? We should just give them out. It's a serialized show, so uh, we're chasing, uh, we're after Ben the Sabbath, it's a big bad for the season. So it's all all relating to capturing him or killing him uh, in this episode. Uh, he may be in focus more in some of the episodes and less in focus in some, but that's always the main goal that we're achieving. Uh, the other would be just working together as a team, establishing relationships. Who, who, who's the leader on this thing? Who's the leader on that thing? Kind of the thing kind of trading off as we go along. Nobody's in power the whole time. Even Rip, who's the one who kind of uh, is uh, the one supposedly bringing us together, isn't always the leader. Uh, yeah. 